So, hope you all are ready to get started. This is the back office of Blogger. So I'm already logged in. Um, if you have a Google Plus account or log in already, then it's real easy for you to get set up for Blogger. So as you can see already on the screen, you can see the blogs, websites, whatever you want to call it that I already have. Um, shameless plug, I guess you could say. Apple Newbies. Um, anytime you're looking to find out more about Apple, the company, or the products, if you have questions for all those Mac users, this is what you need to plug into Google. Look for Apple Newbies and come visit me there. Also, there's Thoughts by Tiger DG, which is my alias. So, there, I'm just talking about life and hopefully trying to motivate a few people so they go out and do great things in life. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this. First thing that we are going to do is say we are going to create a new blog. So we'll click on this button. Oh, I also want to tell you that I did just download some new blogger templates. So this is really going to be a learning experience for me as well because I've only used these normal templates. So we'll see if I can apply the new template at the beginning or if it's something that I'll have to do after I just set up the blog with the old template. Now, first thing you see is title. So for me, I'm going to title this as Small Business Blog. Because that's basically what it's going to be about. It's going to be a small business blog. Um, address. I'll try small business blog and as you can see it's already looking to see if it's available you see small is not available <laughs> ah too many S's ah so close but nope it is not available so now I gotta put my brain to use and see if I can think of something different. Starting a business blog that's unavailable. So this one's going to be definitely tough. Yeah, this is not fun at all, right? So, um, let me see if I can think of something else, small business beginnings. Bam. So it takes a little bit of creativity and then you have an address. So small business beginnings. You yeah. not the perfect one, but it can be changed later. Also you can purchase a the actual domain and change it to that later. So this is my small business blog. Address is going to be smallbusinessbeginnings.blogspot.com. Now, browse many more templates and customize your blog later. So looks like we're going to have to choose from what they have already here. 
so I am looking for something that's going to be not too complex. Now, what I want you to see is that it offers you dynamic views and then simple views. What you really want to do, um, the dynamic views, they're cool. They'll, they'll give you more visual appeal. But from what I've seen, you have problems with when you want to add in plugins or additions to your website. You go with the simple one and you don't have as many issues. So I'm going to click here. Does it let you double click? No. So then just go with simple for now. And then it says you can customize more templates later. So I'm just going to go ahead and create it. Okay, so it is created. That's the end. Um, you can all go home now. No, just joking. Um, so it says it's been created. Let's go ahead and do a quick view to see what it would look like. So this is what it would look like. That's pretty simple, pretty boring, right? So. That's not the way we want things to look. Um, let's close this out. Let's dismiss this. And actually, I think here is a point where I will go ahead and stop this recording for now. Because I want to look around a little bit before I bring y'all back in for the next part. Okay? So thanks for joining. Um, next part will be coming up shortly.